All right, so we're talking with Eddie Yarbrough. Eddie, first of all, uh, practice today, how'd everything go? Looked uh, like an intense practice from our point of view, at least. Definitely an intense practice, but, you know, we have to do what we have to do to to get ready for Montana because no matter, like like Coach Bowl says, no matter – no matter what happens, we're going to have to put a team out there. So I know they're, they're over there getting ready and getting prepared to, to have a great contest. So we're, we're going to do the same. Individually, you had such a breakout year last year, preseason honors in the Mountain West Conference. What do you do to uh, top the performance from last season? You know, I uh, honestly, I just I have to buy with my teammates, buy with my teammates, and and uh, just pray, <laughs> pray a lot. Because, so, you know, I got to um, – what happened last year and, and even the preseason on is none of that stuff really matters until until you play down a football and go out there and actually do it. So with doing that, you gotta you gotta work, you gotta put in the work, and, and fall camp is gonna have to be a, a capstone and a, basically a, a stepping stone going into the season. New coaches, new system. How's the the blending process of learning everything kind of going? Oh, it's going great. You know, it's 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 kind of weird that you even call them our new coaches staff because now it's kind of <laughs> you're so submersed within each other. It's kind of just feels like we're just our coaches, you know. So it, I would say it, uh, to to give justice to that that we feel like we're we're already submersed with them. It's not it's not old oh, man. Who's this guy? Who's that guy? It's kind of like oh yeah, that's Coach Coop over there, you know. So it's kind of definitely submersed and. And it's, and it's feeling great. I, lo- I love the transition. The transition probably, I, I say it's pretty much over now. We're kind of bought in and everything. So We only get to watch the first half hour of uh, practices, but just from the sidelines, you look intense, maybe even a little bit more intense than last year, focused a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Is all that accurate? I, I, would, I would like to give that to uh, Coach Duvall because, you know, he, he did a great job with our whole team in the, in the summer, getting us bigger, stronger, faster. And I would like to give the other half, testament to our coaching staff because they they set the bar and they and they told us they brought us in they said all right this is the bar this is our standards and we're not gonna we're not gonna bend or break so you got we're gonna bring you guys up to our standards so uh with that i would like to give that to our coaching staff because they they hold us to that higher standard that intensity and if you don't honestly if you don't either stretch to get to that to get to that uh standard they have set that bar they've set you won't survive so you know uh they're definitely elevating our team elevating the rest of us this is going to be maybe a little bit more of an aggressive defense this season than we saw last year? Yes, sir, it is. You know, last year, a lot of time I kind of felt like we were playing a little prevent defense, playing not to lose, and, and honestly, like, not really going after them. This year, I, I, I can, I feel like our, just 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 by four, just the defense of fourth, I feel like we're going to be a little bit more aggressive in our coaching staff. And our defensive coordinator, Coach Denard, he, he, he has some things for us, so I'm excited about it. Everybody knows the name Eddie Yarbrough that's a Pokes fan. Who are some of the other guys on defense that we should keep an eye out for this season who might step up and have a great year? You know, every time I'm asked this question, I end up <laughs> literally listing the whole defense. Okay. But I can honestly say this year, keep an eye out for Sonny Pulitasi, Siosi Aliapiapi, Uso Olive, Devin Harris, and a sleeper. I mean, like, no. And I love, I love where he's at because nobody knows about him. DeAndre Jones and Tyran Finley. Those, even though I pretty much listed the whole defense again, I apologize. <laughs> but those guys are going to be some players for us, and I'm excited about it. That's good. I like it. It's all around on the defense. Looking forward to that. Uh, uh, how's the gelling process gone? Important to kind of come together as a team? Is everybody getting along? Any fights in practice? You know, everybody's getting along pretty pretty well for, for my, from my point of view because, you know, usually it's like, especially in the second week, that's when that's when people start getting a little touchy, a little don't, oh, don't step on my foot and all that. <laughs> but honestly, I, I can honestly say that I feel like as a team we're holding it together and, and – a thing about fall camp that I feel like a lot of outside people don't understand is that, I mean, when you hit that second week, third week, the, it's such a grind. And I think it might be by like this by design, but it's such a grind that all you can do is band together with your brothers. And in, and uh, just by that, we all come together as a team and come together and get closer. So just just by association, really, we, we, we're becoming closer and more a cohesive unit. And, and that's just fall camp because, I mean, it's – if anybody ever tells you they went through a legit fall camp that it's not hard, they tell you tell them to get your money back because that was a lie. <laughs> uh, final question for you. There's less than 5,000 tickets left. That means over 25,000 people have Ooh. bought tickets for the Montana game August 30th. What would a sellout mean, and uh, how great is it going to be to come out to a sea of brown and gold August 30th? <laughs> you know, for it to be a sellout game, 
I think I've been a part of three since I've been at the University of Wyoming. And a sellout game, especially going to our first game, the, the emotion and the and honestly just the, the pizzazz that that will give our team coming out to put on a show for our fans because it's no we're as a football team we're no uh, we're not we're not blind to the fact that we have people driving from opposite corners of the state just to come see us play a football game a football game so just to that alone we're gonna just makes us so excited and want to put on a show for them so bad that it's gonna just be a great experience so it, for us to have a sellout crowd we couldn't ask for anything else. Eddie, appreciate the time. Best of luck to you. No problem. I appreciate it. You have a good one.